Hello, I'm Gary Stein. Thank you all for being here, and particularly thanks to LPR for making this possible and uh, all the work that goes into putting a magazine together. Much appreciated to giving us an audience. The first poem I will read is from the LPR, and my wife and I are kayakers. Uh, it's something that we love to do. Kayak is one of those strange words that is spelled b forwards or backwards. It means the same thing. And it reminds me of the process of kayaking. Kayak. The word balances back and forth like the paddles. And like the Y, we wedge between beginning and end. Knuckle and arm drive the blade, slit the lake's skin, a soft violence. We skirt lily pads, pollen, jittery nymphs, Below, an ancient trout rises as if from a dream to swallow the hatch or the reflected moon on dark water that floats the kayak between two worlds. We become the fish, finning to surface just as our eyes open the morning. I'd like to read two short poems from my new book, uh, touring the, the Shadow Factory. The first involves uh, an event when I was a little boy, when a young boy, and it's called Prey, spelled P-R-E-Y, about an unfortunate hunting accident. Prey. The Oak Road boys pushed the, ba the bow into my hands, taunting me to take a life for them. I aimed the arrow high above the squirrel, but low enough to let them think I wanted blood. The squirrel stood still and hugged the trunk, steady as my pulse, until I bent the bow and snapped it loose. Then the squirrel leapt up to meet a point in time and catch it in the back. We watched it pinned to wood a while, the way paws beat the bark as if to blame the tree. Before the sky dropped down to fix those eyes, it closed it cl in cloud. It screamed. It was the human pitch that scared the Oak Road boys away, but I was stuck by sound until it stopped. And when it stopped, I stayed more still and felt the rush of blood, veins arrowed at my heart, to make me move. Once, age four, I fell from bed at night and lay there wild enough to yell the darkness white. But no one came to put me back. I hugged the floor in vain for what was lost and beat my knuckles raw until at last, in that harder place, I came alone to sleep. And last poem, Remembering the Rabbits. Every day at four, the rabbits skittered crazy in the pen for pellets, while mother watched her broken stove buckled in the corner like a refugee. Every supper multiplied confusion. <coughs> Father used to shoot them in the head. Memory is tricky, though I'm sure they hung from rafters in the shed shorn of skin, blue meat and flies, ready for the iron pan. Above the open door, he, shoot, he sutured shut with wire. I used to think it was the slaughtered me meal that stopped her fork, but now I dream dad's bag packed heavy on the porch, the sacks slung in its case and leaning on the house, a rifle with notches on the butt and silent ricochet. Have you ever heard a dying rabbit scream? His alto sax could sound like that and make your spine go tight. Mother didn't sing all day, just pinned our laundry to the line. White clothes, lonely for his jeans and ratty socks. The space they would have hung from filled up by the sky and what he didn't say. Thank you.